going on guys we are back with another video hopefully today we're back out obviously on lake superior um it is cold cold today very cold out the high is like 30 um and it's like 18 degrees out right now but trout are relatively unaffected by the cold quite as much um what will affect the bite is that i am the only person out here today i got nobody else in the boat um, so we're only gonna be running three lines of patrol and the goal today is to hopefully end up casting them i've done it before with success kind of way out here and uh, obviously kind of the first thing we're gonna do because spot trout are so moving around constantly. So we're gonna start out trolling, um, hopefully get an area where it's kind of repetitive, you know, boom, 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 catch a couple, two, three fish, you know, maybe off the same point or off the same 50 yard stretch, and then go back through and cast for them, uh, which is always a ton of fun catching these fish on spinning gear. So uh, we got a run to make, we're gonna run about 10 miles out today. And uh, we kind of got west winds that I don't think are going to be too bad today. Um, so stay tuned. Like I said, we're making a run. Um, hopefully going to catch a whole bunch of trout, both trolling and then casting today. I always have a ton of fun on here. I'm going to quit talking. Stay tuned. Let's catch some fish. Smoked up and it feels like a good one. Feels like a good fish. First one of the day. He's kind of coming at me. There he is. Not acting quite as big anymore, but these trout will get so squirrely and just run at you sometimes. This board went back nice though. We literally just got into the rock. Just got set up. Got some Led Zeppelin playing. I don't know if that'll be a pattern today or not. I'm gonna grab my net here. I got a feeling we're gonna want it. Oh, he's not really that big. He's a squirrely trout though. Nice little brown to start the day. So angry, I almost hate grabbing these things just cause I've been hooked so many times. There we go. Not a big one, but trout number one of the day. Only about 10, 15 minutes in, we'll take it. Brown number one, perfect eater if you're keeping them. We're just uh, letting them go today. See you later, buddy. Angry. We are hooked up. And it feels pretty solid. We made a move a little farther out and much windier out here. This has gotta be a nice lake trout, I think. I don't know if these are super big lake trout, but. Alright, we're straight to the fish. Grab my net. I got 30 feet left of the fish here. Some days you work all day for a big bite. And although we're not really targeting exclusively lake trout. You kind of catch a little bit of everything. I can tell you this is probably going to be one of the bigger lake trout we've caught this year so far. In summer, you know, we'll get them 20 pounds or so. This isn't one of those, but I think it's probably a pretty nice fish. Oh yeah, look at that guy back there. Beautiful fish. A lot of color. He actually clipped that other line somehow, which is all right. Look at him just dig. They are one of my absolute favorite fish to chase. Look at him down there. Just too cool. Very pretty fish. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Gorgeous fish. We'll give you guys a look. Look 
at that guy. That is about as cool as it gets. I thought he was a lot bigger than that, but absolutely gorgeous, all colored up. We're gonna let him go. So many cool different fish to catch. And uh, in the spring of the year, they're all up shallow. All right guys, well, we're gonna try some casting. I know I've only caught two fish so far, but uh, the other day I was out right where we caught that lake trout. We caught a few other trout, so it's kind of a point, you know, so much of this bite's trolling because this lake is so huge. Obviously, these trout are so spread out. But if you do have a really good piece of structure, somewhere you've been catching a few fish consistently, it can be super fun to cast. So basically, I'm just gonna drift with the wind. And uh, once I kind of get going, I'll tell you guys what I'm using. But it is so cool to cast these fish out here if it happens. I don't think it'll be great today just because it's so cold out. It doesn't really seem like fish are that set up thick, but we'll give it a try anyways because it is too much fun. So basically what I'm using is a 3 8 ounce Kalen's Google Eye Jig, same one we use for walleyes a lot. And a Kalen's 4.5 inch Tickle Tail is their new swim bait this year. Been absolutely smashing walleyes on this in Green Bay. And uh, almost all trout love white and super clear water. I'm tying in a long, basically six foot lead. And all I'm doing is kind of counting it down a little bit. I'm only in basically five to 15 feet and I'm just reeling it and kind of popping it. Sometimes I'll kind of pause it and jump start it real quick. Something erratic, even though the water's cold, these trout will chase it down. And uh, I'm fishing this on a seven foot six, medium light, fast action Elliott rods. It's kind of like my live bait walleye rod for like rigging, but it loads up really nice and it's long so I can make just bomb casts. Got 10 pound braid on and the Pissy Fun Carbon X 2000. Basically just kind of a walleye setup. And uh, kind of the cool part about doing this out here is you can literally catch anything. It could be a 20 pound lake trout, could be a 12 inch splake, could be a coho, could be a brown, you just never know. There he is out there. Now this is too much fun. This is just the coolest thing about Lake Superior. There's so much untouched water. You can literally catch anything at any time. It's not really set up to be a great casting bite, but oh my gosh, we got just a gorgeous brown trout. Look at that thing go. Oh my gosh, that is unbelievable. Look at that thing. Big brown on a spinning rod out here in the middle of Lake Superior. Unbelievable. I know this guy's not done yet. All right, I'm gonna grab my net. Too cool. There is absolutely nothing besides maybe salt water that compares to fishing this way. Come here, buddy. So cool to do it on a spinning rod. You know, it's absolutely a grinder of a day out here. But, uh, you know, one bite like this just makes it, really makes the day worth it, honestly. Got line freezing up to everything. Planer board's freezing shut. A relatively decent wind. I hate netting fish like this when they're kind of upwind to me. Come here, buddy. He still isn't done. He's still going. Look at that thing, that is just beyond cool. Come on, buddy. Gotta kind of watch where I'm drifting here to stay out of the rocks. So squirrely. All right, we got them all kind of wrapped up now. 
Got him. Yes. That is so cool to do. We'll give you guys a look. All right, I'm gonna take good care of them. This one ate one of my favorite swim baits, the Kalen's Tickle Tail. That three eighths ounce Google Eye. And look at that. Lake Superior Brown on a spinning rod. This was probably 28, maybe 29 all day long. Beautiful, beautiful trout. Absolutely gonna bolt here. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> that is what it's about. Sport fishing at its finest, too much fun. We're gonna hopefully do that again. Well, <clears throat> I made a couple more passes drifting. Zero fish, which doesn't really matter to me because that was one of the coolest things I've absolutely done this spring, catching that big brown for Lake Superior casting. Super cool. I could literally go home right now. I'd be just fine with that. And uh, we'll see. We're gonna give trolling a little bit here. Um, I'm kind of just scouting some new spots, seeing what happens at this point. But um, it doesn't look that windy right here, but it's actually getting really windy, much windier than they actually called for straight out of the west, kind of northwest. And uh, ideally I'd be fishing that lead wind side of those islands because normally it's much better, but um, it's just kind of very rough out there. Hooked up. Got a fish on. Kind of scouting some new water. And anytime you start seeing that off one side, that big rock, you are probably around some fish. Got to be a lake trout, I'm thinking. Kind of looking like a lake trout. Yeah, it is a little lake trout. A little lake trout or a splake. Oh, come on, buddy. <laughs> we got it. It's an absolutely gorgeous little trout. Too cool. We're going to let that guy go. Pretty, pretty little fish. Well, unfortunately we ran back in. It was getting pretty windy out, out of the incorrect direction that we wanted to be out of. So uh, the weather report was wrong again, but that's all right. Um, fishing a short day, had a great day out here. Didn't catch a lot of fish, but the big brown casting made up for it 100%. Um, so that was absolutely you guys enjoyed watching this that is the coolest part about lake superior is that if anything can happen at any time pretty much anywhere um, i absolutely love this place and if nothing's super good inland it's a hard for me not to come up here all the time so hopefully you guys like watching these videos but um, i appreciate it i'm not sure what we're going to be doing next but we'll be fishing pretty much every day um, locally you know this is a pretty short trip from my house so we might be back here i'd like to do some inland crappies there's also a catch and release bass season in wisconsin that's going on now um, I need a little bit more ice to go away for that to really happen, but not sure what we're going to be doing. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching. If you're not yet, please subscribe.